Wildfires are no longer just a problem for the forests. They're a growing danger to all of us. The smoke from disasters like the Palisade Fire doesn't stay confined to the blaze. It spreads into the air you breathe, seeps into the water you drink, and impacts your health in ways you may not even be aware of. Did you know that tiny particles from wildfire smoke can lodge deep in your lungs and even make their way into your brain? Or that the health impacts don't just last days, but can follow you for years? Stick with us, because in the next 10 minutes, we're diving deep into the science of how wildfires are changing the very air we rely on and what you can do to protect yourself. You might be farther from the flames, but you're not safe from their reach. Wildfires are terrifying forces of nature. They devastate landscapes, destroy homes, and sometimes take lives. But there's a hidden danger that extends far beyond the flames, the smoke. It doesn't just choke the skies above the fire. It drifts for miles, reaching towns, cities, and even entire countries. The Palisade Fire, for instance, impacted not only its immediate surroundings, but also people living hundreds of miles away. So, how does wildfire smoke affect your health? What exactly is in it? And how can you protect yourself and your family from its hidden dangers? Stay with us as we uncover the life-changing truth behind wildfire outbreaks. What's happening with wildfires? Wildfires are becoming more frequent, larger, and harder to control. Why? Because of a deadly combination of human activity and climate change. Rising temperatures, prolonged droughts, and urban expansion into forested areas create the perfect conditions for these disasters. The Palisade Fire was one of many recent examples of how unpredictable and destructive wildfires have become. What's even scarier is that the smoke doesn't stay confined to the fire zone. It travels hundreds, sometimes thousands of miles carrying harmful pollutants that affect people who may not even realize they're at risk. What's in wildfire smoke? Wildfire smoke is not just dirty air. It's a toxic soup of harmful substances. When forests, vegetation, and even buildings burn, they release a mix of gases and particles into the atmosphere. Let's break it down. PM 2.5 The tiny but deadly particles. The most dangerous component of wildfire smoke is PM 2.5 fine, particulate matter that's 2.5 micrometers or smaller. For comparison, that's 30 times smaller than the width of a human hair. These particles are so small that they penetrate deep into your lungs and can even enter your bloodstream. This particles triggers inflammation in the lungs and cardiovascular system. Over time, this can lead to chronic conditions like asthma, bronchitis, and heart disease. Even a few days of exposure can significantly increase the risk of a heart attack or stroke. Long-term exposure to this fine particulate matter has also been linked to lung cancer and even premature death. It's not just a short-term problem, it's a silent, deadly threat. Next is carbon monoxide, an odorless, invisible gas that's produced when organic materials burn incompletely. Carbon monoxide binds to hemoglobin in your blood, reducing the amount of oxygen your body can carry. For healthy adults, short exposure may cause dizziness and headaches. But for people with pre-existing conditions like heart disease, it can be life-threatening, even at low levels. Volatile Organic Compounds Vox. Volatile organic compounds are chemicals released during combustion. They're responsible for the eye and throat irritation you feel during smoky conditions. But that's not all. They've also been linked to cancer and damage to vital organs like the liver and kidneys when exposure is prolonged. Polycyclic Aromatic Hydrocarbons Pause. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons are a group of chemicals formed during the incomplete burning of organic material. These compounds can attach to fine particles like PM 2.5, making them even more dangerous. Long-term exposure to PAWS is associated with cancer, developmental issues in children, 
and damage to the respiratory and cardiovascular systems. Heavy Metals When man-made materials burn, they release heavy metals like lead, mercury, and arsenic. These metals don't just settle in the environment. They enter the air you breathe. For children, exposure to these metals can lead to developmental delays and cognitive impairments. For adults, they increase the risk of neurological disorders and organ damage. Who's most at risk? While wildfire smoke affects everyone, certain groups are at higher risk. Children. Their lungs are still developing, making them more vulnerable to damage. Pregnant women. Exposure can increase the risk of low birth weight and preterm birth. Elderly individuals. Pre-existing health conditions make them more susceptible to respiratory and cardiovascular problems. People with chronic illnesses, those with asthma, COPD, or heart disease are especially at risk of severe complications. Here are some long-term health tolls of wildfire exposure. Even after the smoke clears, the health impacts can linger. Studies show that people exposed to wildfire smoke are at greater risk of chronic respiratory conditions, cardiovascular disease, and even neurological disorders like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. For communities near frequent wildfires, these risks are compounded over time, creating long-term public health crises. Here are ways to protect yourself from the adverse health effects of wildfires. Thankfully, there are steps you can take to minimize your exposure to wildfire smoke. First, monitor air quality. Use apps or websites to check your local air quality index. Avoid outdoor activities when the air quality index is high. Then, seal your home. Use weatherproofing to prevent smoke from entering. Air purifiers with HEPA filter scan. Clean indoor air. Wear N95 masks. These masks filter out harmful particles unlike regular cloth masks. Evacuate when necessary. Be prepared with an emergency kit that includes masks, medications, and essential documents. Finally, you should help vulnerable groups. Check on elderly neighbors, children, and people with chronic conditions. Here's the bigger picture. Wildfires are a stark reminder of the growing climate crisis. As temperatures rise and conditions worsen, we'll see more frequent and severe wildfires. Addressing this requires global action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and local efforts to prepare communities for these challenges. Thus, wildfires are more than just natural disasters. They're a wake-up call. By understanding the health impacts and taking steps to protect ourselves, we can reduce the harm they cause. Together, we can build a safer, healthier future. Subscribe for more science-backed insights. Like, share, and comment below.